Alrighty then. Hey, this is Wentus yet again, and I'm going to be continuing my series of talking about. This episode, we're going to be talking about From Dust, a series that I did a while back. I think I started the series before I even had 50 subscribers. So, yeah, it gives you an idea of how much my channel has scaled in such a short amount of time. Either way, though, this episode, as per usual, we are going to be talking about things in the particular order. First, I'm going to talk about what I liked about the game From Dust. Second, I'll be talking about what I didn't like about the game From Dust. And then last of all, I'll be talking about my thoughts on my series of From Dust. I'm looking forward to this particular one. It's going to be a bit more upbeat than the last one. Let's get to it. First up, what I liked about From Dust. From Dust is a phenomenal game in my opinion. And one that I consider to be really underrated. I never hear it talked about, but it's one that I truly loved playing through. And honestly, it I've considered replaying some of my old Let's Plays just to give them some better quality that they deserve. And this one is pretty high on my priority list for that because I feel like my own series didn't do it justice. It was just... I'll talk about my own series of it later. But... I truly love this game. That's how much I love it is I want to, I'm considering playing through it again. Even though on my own spare time, I've actually played through it a solid like 12 times. Now, for those of you who haven't actually played From Dust, it's such a unique game that it's very difficult to describe, unfortunately. You see, you basically have to lead people from totem to totem, build cities, well, more like villages, and eventually once you've claimed all the places necessary and built the paths necessary, you move on to the next area. Simple concept, but it's so visually beautiful and so many interesting concepts because you're just moving existing resources in the world, occasionally using powers to bring in new resources, while having to keep your people alive, your villages alive, covering the area with greenery, bringing life back to these old places with your manipulation of the landscape. It's really just fun. I don't know, it's just such a fun game, and it can be quite challenging too, but not to the point where you feel like you need to quit. If you can think of the right strategies, it's very possible to do, and sometimes you have to react quickly, but it's definitely worth your time to play through. And Between the visuals, the concept, the gameplay being fun, but not too challenging, but challenging enough to keep you interested, honestly, I feel like it hits so many places just right. It's far from the best game I've ever played, but it's definitely up there among... Eh, I'd say among... I can't even say it's a PC game. I was going to say one of my favorite PC games, but... It's one of the most noteworthy games that I've played. It's not the best, but it stands out from the crowd. That's the best way I can put it. Now, what was it that I didn't like about this game? For all its praise, it does have quite a few problems. Probably the first and most noticeable one is the AI of the villagers. When they choose to walk to a location, you could have given them the most perfect, pristine path that is completely safe, and they say, nah man, I'm gonna walk the edge of that pit of lava right there, and then I'm gonna trip and fall in and blame you. It's really dumb the number of things that they will just get wrong. There's this comic by VG Cats. I might include an image of it or something. It portrays it perfectly of, it's like, okay, I'm holding back this massive wall of water here. You should go across right now. I do that, but there's a rock in the way. Then go around it. Yeah, it's kind of damp over there. I'm going to go this incredibly long, unnecessary path instead. It, uh, the AI of the villagers is so dumb. But given a world that you can customize completely, I can understand why they'd have trouble getting Villager AI to work that well in it. So I don't knock them too much on it. It's still a lot of fun, and it's not unplayably broken. So, yeah, it's it's a big point against it, but not too big. The only other point I can think of to put against it is... Uh, I, the only thing I can really think of is that the game is a bit too short. The story is... Simple, but good enough to make you think about it. So I guess you can say the story is too simple, but since it does bring up a lot of thought-provoking provo- thought things within it, nothing too complex. I can't really knock the story too much, but I don't think it was... It could have been better, I think, it is the best thing. And the only other problem is that the game was way too short. Like, there, I think there's somewhere around 10 levels in the entire game, and then you're done. No DLC, no custom ability customization or anything it's just okay you played through it you're done play through it again if you want it 
felt like there was so much more they could have done with it. But it's hard to knock the game. No, it, it, no, it's easy to knock the game for it being too short. That's going to be one of my complaints. Villager AI. Villager AI. I don't even know what I said there. Villager AI. The game being too short and the story being simpler than it needed to be. Those are the three points that I can say were not very good about the game. But overall, it was still a very enjoyable experience. So, as for my series of it, honestly, I haven't ever seen anyone else Let's Play this game. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who have, I just personally haven't looked for them. I'd recommend finding someone else to, who has played through it, because my quality was terrible. I literally did this game on a split-second decision of, I got access to Fraps, and I was like, Oh my god, I can record PC games now! I recently played through this game, I should play it right now! Seriously, I had played through it like once, and then I immediately let's played it, which was a terrible idea. I knew so little about the game, I was... Well, I didn't know so little, I knew enough to be able to do a, a decent guide to the game. But... I didn't have enough to talk about, I was just kind of talking about what was going on on screen, my commentary was awkward, I had no idea how to use fraps, and I still have no idea how to use fraps, so don't expect any PC games to be coming anytime soon. But, um, yeah, I... The video quality was horrendous. My audio quality was pretty bad back then as well. So, yeah, quality of it's terrible. My commentary was awkward. And worst of all, f just before the final episode, like, actually midway through the final episode, I had, I lost the data. And I actually just, I did something so stupid, I wish I could take it back. What I did was I got halfway through the final level, and that's when the footage cut out. So instead of just redoing the whole level over again and commentating it, I just started the level over again, got to the same point I was at, and then continued recording from there. So basically it took everything I had, I used a completely different strategy the second time, it cut, and suddenly the entire island looks different, and that was right before the ending. Man, I hate that I did that. Seriously, it haunts me to this day, and is one of the major reasons why I've considered replaying the game on console. <sighs> but... Yeah, I doubt I'm going to actually replay anything soon. If I'm ever going to do that, it's going to be after I've gotten a few full new series under my belt. But yeah, overall I think my series of From Dust, while fun to make, was overall a bad idea to do it so soon. I wish I had waited a little bit longer before doing it, but I don't regret making it. I still think it was a ton of fun to play through. Those that did watch it, again, I didn't have many people watching me back then. Those that did watch it, those seemed to enjoy it. So, overall, I'd say it was a worthwhile game. Now, for the final part of this all. What did you guys think of the series? Although, saying this, I highly doubt anyone who watches the series has actually seen my From Dust playthrough, oddly enough. Because it's such a forgettable series of mine, I hardly ever mention it. And on top of that, almost all of my... In fact, I have 10 times... No, more than 10 times. More like 12 times as many subscribers as I had when I made that series. So, one out of every 12 of you, at most, was around when I made those videos. And I doubt very many of you have gone back through my archives and watched some of my older, worse Let's Plays. So, yeah, that's a little bit awkward, and man, recording under a comforter is really awkward. I can't wait to get that soundproofing. I am actually sweating, and it is supposed to be cold in this house. Either way, though, yeah, if any of you guys have seen it, let me know what you think. If you haven't seen it, and you've played through the game yourself, let me know what you think of the game. I'd love to discuss it with you. Either way, though, that's going to be the, it for this episode. Next episode, we are going to be going over one of my... Biggest things of shame on this channel, actually. My cancelled Let's Play of Super Mario RPG. But I've been meaning to talk about that for a long time because it's something I just kind of dropped and never talked about again. It's about time I addressed that. So, that's what we're going to be talking about next time. As for now, though, this has been Wentus. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.